Kamusta kaayo and mabuhay my fellow kababayan. Happy Filipino American History Month. My name is Gabriel Young and I'm the staff assistant for the White House Initiative on Asian Americans, Native Hawaiians, and Pacific Islanders, also known as WIAMPI. Last year, I had the privilege to help spearhead Wiyampi's celebration as an intern. And today, it is my pleasure to serve as your MC for our program. Through the Bayanihan spirit, I am ecstatic to share this year's theme, America is in the heart. Inspired by Filipino American author and activist, Carlos Bulasan, our program seeks to uplift the legacies of those who wrote and continue to contribute to Filipino American history. Filipino American History Month is especially important to me because it's a time where our community can come together and celebrate our shared heritage and history. Whether it be the first arrival at Morro Bay, California in 1587, San Malo, Louisiana as the first Asian American settlement, Filipino American nurses and military members serving our country, the Delano Manongs fighting for civil rights, and Filipino Americans trailblazing media representation, I'm proud to say Filipino American history is American history. Salamat kayo to the Filipino American National Historical Society. Fonds for pioneering Filipino American History Month's celebrations and introducing it to Congress. Now, I'd like to begin our program and pass it to Wiyampi's Executive Director, Crystal Kaai, and the Deputy Assistant to the President and AA and NHPI Senior Liaison, Erica Mortsugu, to open our program with their remarks. Please join me in giving them a warm mabuhay. Thanks, Gabe, and mabuhay, everyone. I'm Crystal Kaai, Executive Director of the White House Initiative on Asian Americans, Native Hawaiians, and Pacific Islanders, or what we call WIAMPI. And I want to thank you for joining our virtual program to close out Filipino American History Month. In 1943, Filipino American author, poet, and activist Carlos Bulosan published the novel America is in the Heart which is one of the earliest publications to document the experience of Asian American immigrant workers in the United States. It is now regarded as one of the premier texts on the Filipino American experience in America and speaks to the strength, resilience, and aspirations of Filipino immigrants who left everything behind and overcame great adversity to pursue the American dream. As we celebrate Filipino American History Month, we and the Biden-Harris administration are grateful for the contributions of Filipino Americans who have left their mark on American history in immeasurable ways. From the 1587 landing of the first Filipinos at Morro Bay, to labor leaders like Larry Itliong, to our courageous Filipino American World War II veterans, and our healthcare heroes who served on the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic. America would not be what it is today without the rich history and contributions of the Filipino American community. So as Filipino American History Month comes to a close, please know that we in the White House Initiative and throughout the entire Biden-Harris administration are committed to ensuring that we continue to advance equity, justice, and opportunity, and that Filipino American voices are centered in these efforts. Thankfully, we have prominent Filipino Americans throughout the administration who you will be hearing from shortly who are helping us to make this happen. We hope you enjoy this virtual program and wish you all a very happy Filipino American History Month. Aloha y'all, I am Erica Moritsugu, Deputy Assistant to the President, where I serve as the Senior Liaison to the Asian American, Native Hawaiian, and Pacific Islander communities at the White House. Today, it's my honor to present to you the statement from President Biden in celebration of this year's Filipino American History Month. And this is dated October 1st, 2023. 
I send my warmest greetings to all those celebrating Filipino American History Month. Our nation has been immeasurably enriched by the contributions of Filipinos and the Filipino American community. Since America's founding, countless courageous Filipino immigrants have picked up their lives and found new homes here as educators, entertainers, entrepreneurs, healthcare workers, lawyers, service members, chefs, and so much more. Filipinos and Filipino Americans have helped forge the very idea of America. And while they have helped build our country, they've never forgotten where they came from, weaving the vibrant heritage and rich culture of the Philippines into the tapestry of our nation. Filipinos and Filipino Americans embody the best of our country, putting service over self, remaining committed to their communities, and bolstering the bonds that unite us as Americans. By recognizing Filipino American history, we are better able to learn from our past, celebrate the progress we have made, and grapple with the distance we still have to travel on our path to living up to our country's founding ideals. May we continue honoring these proud Americans for all they have done to strengthen our great nation for many years to come. To the Filipino and Filipino American community, thank you for all you do to ensure our nation remains a land of hope, opportunity, and optimism. Salamat kaayo, Crystal and Erica, for your wonderful leadership and advocacy for our communities. Returning to this year's theme, America is in the heart, we asked our Kababayan in the Biden-Harris administration, what does America is in the heart mean to you? Please join me in giving a warm mabuhay to our Kababayan as they share their thoughts and reflections on Bulasan's message and their public service. America is in the heart, a quote from Filipino writer and activist Carlos Bulusan is a beautiful phrase that helps me remember why I love my work in public service. This phrase represents the great promise and potential of America that brought my grandparents here and also the incredible sacrifices they made to ensure a good future for their children. America is in the heart also reminds me that I am connected to this country and that I want to give back to it. So on this Filipino American History Month, I want to take care to remember why I work for President Biden and Vice President Harris, and I want to recommit myself to continuing to strive for the ideal America, a country that is great because it makes space for all of us. Hi, I'm Gabriel Oy. Deputy Director of Public Engagement and Intergovernmental Affairs to Vice President Kamala Harris here at the White House. What does America is in the heart mean to me this Filipino American History Month? It means everything, because I think, like many of you, it's a story about my mom. She came to the United States from the Philippines by herself as a nurse, first to Missouri and then to Las Vegas, Nevada. She sent money back home to her sisters and her mom to help them and she was a proud dues-paying member of SEIU Local 1107. She brought me with her to march in the picket line and to the ballot box to watch her exercise her right to vote. America is in the heart is a reminder for me that my mom's grit, determination, resilience, and sense of civic duty flows in my veins and beats in my chest. Happy Filipino American History Month, everyone. This Filipino American History Month, when I think about Carlos Bulosan's novel, America is in the Heart, naturally, I think of my own Filipino American family. I think of my grandfather who came to this country and rebuilt his life by taking the first job that was available to him, tilling the land and harvesting asparagus in Central California. And then I think that just two generations later, I, his granddaughter, serve as the White House liaison to the Department of Agriculture. And then I think of families now, very similar to mine, Filipino Americans in Maui, who have had to rebuild their lives 
and to know that because of this administration and appointees like myself, that path will be made just a little bit easier with millions of dollars of investments in home loans available to them and technical assistance to the farmers out there so that they can rebuild their farmland in a way that's fire resistant. All of it to just be a small part of these families' lives and this American story of building and rebuilding is truly a new chapter of what it means for America to be in the heart. And I'm so glad to be able to celebrate it with you all. Hi, my name is Jerry Aglipi, and I'm the United States Small Business Administration Great Lakes Regional Administrator who oversees the SBA region covering Illinois, where I was born and raised, as well as Indiana, Michigan, Minnesota, Ohio, and Wisconsin. I'm privileged to work with outstanding SBA staff who lead the offices in these six states. I'm also proud to be a member of the Filipino American National Historical Society. To me, Filipino American History Month means five words, collective resilience for positive impact. I'm the daughter of immigrants. My father was a migrant farm worker and a veteran who later learned the craft trade of bartending. Unfortunately, he passed away roughly one month after my mother became a citizen, leaving her with three children under the age of five. She worked two full-time jobs as a nurse's aide at minimum wage most of her life to make sure that we had a roof over our heads. But it was the collective resilience and impact from our community, our relatives, and the kindness of friends in the Filipino-American community that helped my mom get through those rough patches, such as supporting her with child care. And it was the positive impact of good government that further helped our resiliency as a family. The Veterans Benefits for Dependents helped my mom financially. Second, I'm the recipient of a college Pell Grant for low-income students, which helped me be the first in my immediate family to graduate from college. And when our family could not afford health care, government-backed public health clinics were there to support us. Today, I'm proud to serve in the Biden-Harris administration to help catalyze those five words that are meaningful to me, collective resilience for positive impact, so that everybody, especially the underserved, equitably has opportunities for upwards economic mobility. That is what Filipino American History Month means to me. Happy Filipino American History Month. My kapa bayan. Hello. My name is Camille Kalimlam Tutin. Commissioner of the United States Bureau of Reclamation. As we celebrate Filipino American History Month, our work to honor our past and the sacrifices of many allows us to continue the important work towards a better future. That is the heart of America. It is an honor to serve the Biden-Harris administration and to be of service to this country. Happy Filipino American History Month. I'm Lourdes Tiglau, and I'm currently serving as the Executive Director for the Center for Women Veterans in the Office of the Secretary of the Department of Veterans Affairs. During this Filipino American History Month, we're reflecting on what does America is in the heart mean to me. As a Filipino immigrant who served in the Air Force, and later working in humanitarian and disaster response space, and now in government, I've seen and experienced transitions more than what I ever imagined. I had to learn to assimilate to fit in as a child in the Midwest, learn to speak the language, when I joined the military, I again had to assimilate to grow beyond what was originally ascribed as my persona as a Filipino woman, and succeeded. No, I thrived in the military. When I later worked in the humanitarian space, I had to transition again from medicine to disaster response in a male-dominated field. In my early career transitions, I thought that I had to lose my identity as a Filipina in order to be accepted and to thrive. I thought that if I just shed that part of me, I'll be accepted in the school. I'll be accepted in the military. I realized over the years that it's not the America that I love. That's someone else's version of this nation. The America in my heart is the one that nurtured me to be the woman I am today. The America that embraces me. The one that I know is the one that accepts and celebrates me as myself and opens the doors to opportunities for those willing to step into the arena. America is not one thing. It is everything that you dare, that you dream to be. It's you, it's me, it's us and what we aspire to. It is what brings the best out of each individual who
who steps onto her land. This is the America that is in my heart. Mabuhai, I'm Dita Skatagi, Associate Director for Communications at the U.S. Census Bureau. The Filipino population in the U.S. is over 4.4 million, and we are the fastest growing within the AAPI community. My father immigrated here to the U.S. to pursue his education, and he stayed to ensure his family had a better life and could pursue the American dream. I am here serving in President Biden's administration because I believe that all people should have a voice, they should be seen and be counted. What does America is in the heart mean to me? It means that to be successful, we need to let our whole selves shine. I like to use the mnemonic device, the acronym VOCAL, V-O-C-A-L, to guide my daily work. V is about living and bringing my values to work. O means seeking opportunities, even during the most challenging times. C is about always bringing my culture to the table. A is about not being afraid, afraid to use my acquired skills and knowledge. And finally, L, it's about bringing my life experiences to the table. So when you think about how do I, as a Filipino American, show up as a public servant, think about being vocal. Thank you. Mabuhay everyone. America's in the Heart holds a deep meaning during Filipino American History Month. To me, this book symbolizes the enduring resilience and the wavering spirit of the Filipino community in the face of adversity. It's a testament to the Filipino American experience where the heart and the soul of people persistently strive for belonging, equality, and a place to call home in the land of the free. As we celebrate this month, it's a reminder that the stories of struggle and the triumph continue to shape our community, fostering a sense of unity and a shared heritage that enriches the cultural mosaic of America. Happy Filipino American History Month. Naima and Bigat and happy Filipino American History Month. My name is Nikki Oka and I'm the special assistant here at Wianpi. I'm also a proud Filipino American. To me, Carlos Bulosan's celebrated work, America is in the Heart, continues to raise the question of how does our identity and lived experience as Filipino Americans intersect with living in, working in, and being in America? Despite the trials and tribulations experienced by Bulosan's characters, Bulosan emphasized the love, hope, and steadfastness that he feels for America. At the end of the novel, he says, All these persecutions happened a long time ago in an ancient land, I told them but they're significant to us because we are undergoing similar persecutions. We who came to the United States as immigrants are Americans too. All of us are immigrants, all the way down the line. We are Americans all who have toiled for this land, who have made it rich and free. When I first read this, I immediately thought of my grandparents who were raised on plantations in Hawaii and worked hard to care for their families and build community. I remember and honor the memory of my grandfather, Vicente de la Cruz, a former president of the Filipino Chamber of Commerce of Hawaii and a proud son of the Ilocos. And I thought of all the sacrifices that my grandmother, Beatrice Kanua, made, working back-breakingly long days, asserting herself as one of the first women's stevedores in Hawaii, in order for me to even be here today. America may be in the heart, but it is because of those that came before us, like my grandparents, that we can continue to support this dream. Hi, my name is Denise Sievert Geronimo, and I am an intern at the White House Initiative on Asian Americans, Native Hawaiians, and Pacific Islanders. And this Filipino American History Month, when thinking about the quote, America is in the heart, I can only think of my mother. My mom is an immigrant from Cebu, Philippines, and she traveled to Memphis, Tennessee to make a better life for herself and for her family back home. And when she got here, I'll be honest, she didn't want the American dream. Instead, she wanted the Filipino American dream. She wanted to bring and incorporate her own Filipino heritage, values, culture, and amazing cooking to this country because she knew how important it was to hold on to them. And as she raised two daughters, she made sure to instill those ideas into them, lovingly, although at the same time, forcefully. <laughs> 
And growing up in Tennessee, personally, it was not always easy trying to figure out my identity as a second generation Filipino American. I grew up in predominantly white spaces and I didn't look like the kids around me or eat the same crackers and cheese for lunch. But my mom always reminded me that I have a right to be here and that I have a right to call myself an American because I am different. And it's those differences that make Filipinos an intrinsic and invaluable aspect to American life. So this Filipino American History Month, I am proud to hold two identities at once and to serve the AA and NHPI population. Happy National Filipino American History Month. Salamat. Kamusta kaayo, fellow kababayan? As Bulasan shared his story, I too would like to share with you all my story. Like Bulasan, my proud Cebuano grandfather, Grandpa Jess, moved to the United States seeking economic opportunity. Attaining green cards, my family immigrated to San Jose, California. In San Jose, Grandpa Jess became a community organizer, businessman, and founded the San Jose Filipino Chamber of Commerce. Alongside my grandma, Grandma Letty, both worked in the medical supply business, supporting their kababayan working in the healthcare field across the Bay Area. Both of my grandparents passed down a legacy of service to my mom, who worked in the Department of Defense, and my father, who worked in the United States Air Force. After my father's passing, my mom raised both my brother and me as a single mom. Raising us, she sought to pass down that same legacy of service and community organizing by teaching us to remember our gamot, our roots, and our history. As I reflect on what America is in the heart means to me, Bolasan's quote reminds me of the importance of being a servant for and with others. By carrying forth my family's legacy in creating a better tomorrow. As the embodiment of my grandpa Jess, my grandma Letty, my mom Janelle, and my father Robert, and all of their legacies. I strive to serve you all Kababayan and call you all to action to create legacies of equity, justice, and opportunity for our AA and NHPI community. With that, I'd like to say salama ka'ayo to my fellow Kababayan serving in the Biden-Harris administration. Of course, we cannot end our program without dance. So now I'd like to introduce the Georgia Tech Filipino Student Association who will be performing the Tinikling Dance with music from the Bayanihan Philippine Dance Company. The Tinikling Dance is performed by dancers who weave between two bamboo poles imitating the tickling birds in the Philippines who also weave through traps set by rice farmers. Please join me in giving another warm mabuhay to the Georgia Tech Filipino Student Association. Hi, my name is Ethan Ray. Hi, I'm John Zio Campo. I'm Eric Somelo. And I'm Kevin Guernsey. And we're representing the Georgia Tech Filipino Student Association for Filipino American History Month.
Salama Kayo, Georgia Tech Filipino Student Association, and to my fellow Kababayan and a guest for joining us today for the Biden Harris administration's Filipino American History Month celebration. America is in the heart. I hope today and the past month continues to serve as a testament on Filipino Americans' contributions in writing our nation's history and creating the idea of America. To quote Bulasan, America is in the hearts of those that died for freedom. It is also in the eyes of those that are building a new world. America is a prophecy of a new society, of a system that knows no sorrow or strife or suffering. As we close today's program, I would like to invite you all to join me in an Isang Bagsak, the unity club that Larry Itliong and the Delano Manongs practiced in their efforts to continue Bulasan's legacy. Join me. Isan Baksak. Salamat kaayo, fellow Kababayan, and thank you for joining us for our celebration of Filipino American History Month.